women's hearts are different from men because of the fact that females have a preponderance of uh, estrogen, so there's a difference in the hormonal milieu. Our arteries tend to be smaller, and the way the arteries react to the stress is different. So in women, sometimes the relaxation of the blood vessels is impaired, and that's called microvascular dysfunction. Women, again, because of estrogen, are at a high risk of forming blood clots. Uh, so this not only is linked to a high risk of heart attacks, but also stroke as well. The typical heart attack symptoms for uh, women are chest pain that radiates to the left arm, uh, to the jaw, sometimes to the back, can be associated with shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, palpitations. However, sometimes women present with very subtle symptoms and they may just tell us I'm not feeling well or I'm feeling stressed out. So women tend to have more atypical symptoms as compared to men. And um, you know, sometimes what we, what we see is women may not be expressing their symptoms in the typical manner. So as healthcare providers, we need to be cognizant of these differences in symptoms and how female patients express them. And we need to ask the right questions so we can actually get to the correct diagnosis. The UC health difference as far as women and cardiovascular disease is concerned is that we are the only academic health system in the region. As a result of that, we have access to the state-of-art technology and also cutting-edge research, which we incorporate in the treatment plans for our patients. We have uh, physicians who are very, very cognizant and sensitive to the gender differences in men and women as far as cardiovascular disease is concerned. We have specialists who have expertise in every area in cardiovascular disease. As a result of that, our patients get the best. And above all, we want to make a difference in the community, and that's what the UC Health difference is. For women, they perceive breast cancer as the greatest risk to them. However, women are 10 times more likely to be affected by um, a heart attack, so that needs to be kept in mind. Women and men do have differences as far as the presentation of cardiovascular disease is concerned. And I think as a result of that, um, you know, maybe women think that the only threat to them out there is breast cancer, which is a huge threat. However, cardiovascular disease remains the number one killer of both men and women. Um, therefore, we need to make sure that when you're getting your mammograms, which is very, very important, and we need to stay on top of that, you're also staying on top of your cardiovascular health because that is even a bigger threat to you.